I just finished the last row of my first cuff and I am going to stop with the main mark at four o'clock. If you kept your heel spring on for the first cuff, it's okay to go ahead and remove it now. And then we're going to transition from river needles back to cylinder needles. I'm going to start with the first needle after the main mark, but before I forget, I'm going to reset my row counter. Put the cylinder needle in first, make sure the latch is open, then pull out that river needle and you can just use the needle to hang the stitch over the cylinder needle. That's it. And I always kind of tug at the bottom just to make sure it's well seated and then crank forward to the next one. The cylinder needle first, pull the river needle forward, place it over the stitch. And that's it. So we're going to replace every needle. This is my last needle before I'm all the way back around. Once you've removed the last river needle, you can remove the river. And then this is a good time to check and make sure you didn't have any drop stitches. If you did, go ahead and repair them. You can also adjust the weight up higher into the cylinder. I'm going to add a cable cuff. And now you're ready to crank the number of leg rows. For our adult pair, we did 120 rows, although you might not be able to do quite that many if you only have 400 yards of yarn. And of course you should, um, crank the number of rows that you calculated earlier uh, after we measured our rows per inch. Visit us at deanandbean.com and please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.